Hello everybody, this is Haster, yet again here with another episode of Paranormal. I realize I haven't played this game in a few years and there's been some updates to it. Now this is not the game that you're gonna remember, but they still have that available. I don't like it, I think it looks terrible, it's flat, it's uncolorful, but this version, I... I'm honestly willing to give a shot. Excuse me, I'm trying to talk. Throwing bottles off of shelves and whatnot. But anyway, it looks to be of much higher quality. And I like it. I think it I think it's a lot more subtle than, you know, having dolls pop up on crucifixes. That was just in poor, poor taste. Anyway, let's jump right on in. The following is an early test build of a simulation set to recreate the events of July 4th, 2011 and the days leading up to it. This build is for testing purposes only. In this current state, the simulation is missing important elements of the July 4th incident. These missing events, including several key happenings and alleged paranormal activity, will be added to the simulation over the course of its development. The purpose of this build is for the general public to determine the performance of the simulation as well as to gain feedback. While the house and the surrounding grounds are detailed, they are incomplete. This is a work in progress. Everything is subject to change. I can only hope that they keep up this level of quality. Oh, the recording light's on. Okay. Yeah, the recording light's on. My name's Mattel Clark. I'm an artist, or at least I'd like to think I am. Uh, you may be wondering why I'm talking to my camera. Well, some weird shit's been happening around here lately. Unexplainable stuff. I talked into a Aside microphone. Aside from hearing creepy noises at night, I've been finding notes or doodles or whatever in random places around my house. Here's one of them. Yeah. Look, he's smiling though. It just showed and there's up hearts on everywhere. It's fucking honor. Anyway, it's not creepy. Recording all this now, Come on. So I'll have proof. Maybe the one on the ra uh, right is creepy. Whoever is messing with me will be Seems like they got a little so, portal to hell in the way. back there. Shall we begin the tour? Let's You're begin right. the tour. We'll be the All right. Nothing's really happened in there yet. Nothing creepy that is anyway. Oh, I forgot about the cameras. I set up a bunch of security cameras around the house, so uh there's one of them. They're set to record at night so I don't miss anything while I sleep. <laughs> Boring. And this is the living room. Which there's looks so HDTV, much nice. So much nicer. And there's my D and D table. Chaotic neutral, of course. The door right there leads to my studio where I work on all my art. We're gonna check that the out. Door leads to the basement. This is my computer. It's an i5 GTX 560 550. I can't which. God, what a piece of shit. Handle. Just about anything I throw at it, really. Here's where my guests dine. Very, uh, quaint, I suppose. And this is the kitchen. Yeah, you may notice that it's really large. Well, apparently when this house was built, it was supposed My to be time. used as a retreat for some yuppie dudes or something. Anyways, they had a lot of people to cook for, so they made the kitchen huge. And look at how much of that space I'm actually using. And this is my yard. Mm. It's pretty spacious. Over there's the garage. It's not attached to the house, as you can see. And that really sucks when it's raining. But that about covers it. And this this thing's battery is already running low. Oh, for, fantastic. Well, I guess I'll start officially documenting the creepy shit tonight. So, catch you all later. Alright, and now I believe we're actually into the game. Yeah. Okay, so now it's night. And it looks like something's glowing out there. Let, let's go investigate. Ooh, that looks like a fire. You know how much I love me some fire. Good old fashioned fire will put the fear into a lot of people. Not that I want to. Is there some stalker living out here in the woods near my house? That is... That is actually something that can freak me out rather easily. The idea of a stalker or somebody living in my house without me knowing but um normally 
That's about it. Well, there, there's other shit that creeps me out, but, you know, a lot of these horror games don't, don't jump on that. I don't remember putting you there. In fact, you shouldn't even be there. Ah, well, whatever. Let's go see the art room. Yeah. Oh, my. Dear Lord, what is going on in here? Everything is touched except for the canvas. One second, let's get some flashlight on this. So, he's making blue intestines coming out of what looks to be a cinder block. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. It's just propped up on the cinder block. You know, whatever. Whatever floats his boat. Intestines are, you know, a thing. Whoa, what was that? Come on now. Were you here before? I'm not sure if you were here before. Good lord. Wow. This guy walks powerfully. Kick. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. That that wasn't meant to be a scare. It's just, a, oh Lord, Lord, this is okay. Honestly, that's making me a little sick. So I'm gonna move on. All right, what else can we find? I like how in this version he doesn't just have shit. You know, his his artwork just laying all over the place, like in his friggin' living room. That's just. That's just bizarre to me. Oh, 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 flashing light. Gotta get that on camera. There we go. Flickery light. That's a sign of paranormal activity. <laughs> Can we open the fridge? No. Probably doesn't have anything good anyway. Well... I'm about to run out of battery and in the old game that means that you would have died I'm not sure about all that so I'm gonna stick close to my bedroom by the way another thing that's kind of freaky you walk into doors to open them it's it's really weird I, I tried pressing E when I first booted this game up and it really didn't it was really frustrating. I mean, I understand the whole walking through the door thing. But, you know. Oh, Lord. Oh, well, just close that up. This guy hasn't even packed. All right. First night complete. We got a flickering light, guys. Super good. Let's see if we can catch anything on our night vision cameras. And we're back. We didn't catch anything on our night vision cameras. How droll. Anyway. Let's see. Oh, it's day now. That's boring. Supposed to be spookier at night. Can I watch a video? MJ? MJ Ghosts? That's my favorite movie! Nothing gonna happen over here. I am such a slob. And look at that, I'm drinking Dr. Spirit. Dr. Spirit. The official beverage of lunatics I don't know where I was going with that I'm sorry anything in the art room got some dark quarters for such good illumination I mean look at these windows over here they only cast light like up to the corners that 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 seems kind of off but you know, I'll, I'll forgive it. It's it's a it's it's early access. I mean, it's been early access for a while, but I consider this a different game. Really, I do. 
Let's go into the basement. The basement is a loft, apparently. He's got a couch. Does he have a TV? He has a couch, and he doesn't even have a TV in front of it. God. Let's see. Uh, a very badly positioned pool table? No? Well, I guess. The couch somewhat gets in the way of it. Good lord. Who, who decided that'd be a good idea? I mean, really. What's in here? Ah, the boiler room. And the congregation of the mannequins. Here's a save. Can't can't touch that. Don't want to touch that. That's where he keeps the bodies. <laughs> that was kind of weird. I thought I saw like an artifact over there. I might have. But nah. So this I, I'm guessing it has a, like a day and night cycle. Whoa, that's creepy. I'm guessing it has a day and night cycle, but you know. So when I go in here, and once again, my beautiful garage. And there's smoke out there. Somebody put out the fire. Now they're coming for me. All right, well, let's go to sleep because I'm, I'm tired of it being day. At least I, I think that's how that works. Not quite sure. Ah, are we able to look around? Oh, we're able to we're able to switch the cameras. Okay. Oh, do uh, I I'm at max uh, SD card capacity. Does that mean I have to go to my computer? Where's my computer? I thought it was like right next to the D&D &D table. Did this? They changed on me. I think. I mean, where's where's the computer? I don't remember this being like right here. I think they just changed the floor plan on me. What kind of crazy things are going on here? Oh, wait, no. Here's the computer. All right. Do I unload the SD card here? I mean, you would think so. I, I don't know. Ah, well, screw it. This guy's going to film for no reason and not get any footage because his SD card is full and the idiot doesn't realize it. But, whoa there. Remember, guys, this is a... This is a beta build. Nice water effect. Um, I don't think sinks work that way, though. I mean, oh, is it's full. It's full, and it was splashing back. Okay. You need to do your dishes, buddy. Got a state of the art coffee maker. Whoa. Come on, I haven't. I have my faucet turned on, but that isn't exactly spoopy. Let's check the art room. Oh, there was a bass drop. You are so lazy. You are like the laziest. And that is really creepy. I like it. I think I might get a mural like that on my wall. Yeah, sorry I haven't uploaded something. I've just had a lot going on in my life. It's been it's been a wild ride for the past couple of days. Dear Lord, who left all my CDs out here? Chiller? Chiller? Dear Lord, this ghost is so inconsiderate. Ugh. Why do I have a cloth over the mirror? Can I remove the cloth? Is there something spoopy behind the cloth? Oh. Well, cloth's moving. 
phone. Give it to me. Oh, shit. I'm actually about to fight. Oh, come on. Seriously, my, my battery is about dead. I shouldn't have come into the bathroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me out. You gonna let me out now? You gonna wait until, until the toilet flushes, really? Come on. Come on. Seriously, I... This is a bit unfair. Come on. Thank you. Dear Lord, I know you're trying to kill me. But, you know, stop it. Stop blocking me in rooms. Okay, let's see if we can get something else that's spoopy. No, it's not letting me change cameras now. Oh, that's why. My door opened on its own. Yeah. And just when we're getting into the really juicy part of it, I hit the 15 minute mark. Fantastic. I think I could keep going for another five minutes, but you know, you know how that goes. Why am I not asleep in my bed? That's the one thing I'm wondering. I lied down. Why am I not asleep in my bed? I'm just on the bloody ceiling in between two corners of the room with my video camera videotaping a door opening on its own. That's kind of weird. I mean, how would it even fit up there? It's so close to the to the ceiling. Is this how I turn at night? Can I turn at night this way? Nah, I'll just keep that off though. Just keep that off. All right, let's just turn off all the lights and look around with only our flashlight because this house, apparently these windows do not work. Okay. So, no, okay, they didn't switch anything up. I'm just an idiot. But that's okay, y'all. I can be an idiot. It's my channel. Alright, so the SD card capacity is full. I don't know what is going on here. Oh, my cell phone is going off. I have to do the important business with the things. That guy was trying to contact me. He wanted some art. I am an artist, you know. Come on. No? Okay. Screw it. I don't consider that spooky. Yeah, I mean, it's a phone. Somebody is calling. He's just not picking up. What a douche. Buzz, buzz, whatever, whatever, bro. All right, I think that's about it for this play. I'm not sure if I'm gonna play more of this. I might, I might do an episode two just to make sure I've gotten everything. And I still want to kind of go up into the basement or into the attic at night. And I definitely want to go down into the basement at night. But anyway, thank you all for joining me on this wild, crazy adventure. We saw some stuff. I mean, we saw a door open. We saw flickering lights, which could just be an electric problem. Electrical problem. Needs to call an electrician. And we saw faucets turning on and off. Not terrible, but not the greatest. Anyway, if you like this video, do whatever the hell you want because I'm not fishing for subscri subscribers or, you know, anything. I just make these videos on occasion because I like them. And now I have plenty of time on my hands and I'm in an empty house so I can scream and yell and do whatever I want. So, thank you all for joining me. And as always, peace.